been reporting extensively on the challenge of finding affordable housing in Colorado. Now there's a fight between a big ski company and a county about helping put workers into homes. The result could leave more than 100 people out in the cold. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Croshaw live new at 6. Matt, what will these Vail employees do now? Well, you know, Jim, I'm standing at a construction site. Eventually, next year, this will be home to 400 new beds for seasonal workers up here in the country, up here in Summit County, that is. But that will do little to help 102 workers for this season that are losing their housing because of a decision by local county leaders. The employee housing crisis in Summit County just got a lot worse. We've got 102 employees. Uh, and, and beds that we had a year ago that we won't have this year. Keystone Resort's general and manager is not happy with the Summit County Commissioners. I'm disappointed in the, in, uh, in the outcome. Uh, we had a, a solution in place to, to bridge the gap for a year. Um, I, I feel that some of the side issues, some of the history, maybe even the, the politics of the issue got in the way of what was really in front of them. There's a uh, standard of living that we expect. County Manager Scott Vargo says the decision to turn down Keystone's bid to keep more than 100 temporary bunk beds at the resort's Tenderfoot Employee Housing Project for another ski season is sending a message. El Resorts added two beds to two bedroom units and another bed to a three bedroom unit, which brought that square footage per person from, again, 300 is the county standard, 200 in the Keystone PUD down to 137 and 130 square feet per person. You know, the request was really a bridge from uh, those 102 beds, which were temporary in nature, uh, to get us to the opening of this project, uh, which is one year from now. The housing crisis hit seasonal workers' heart, leaving them in the middle of a dispute between their company and their county government. It's unfortunate that Vail has uh, taken the steps that they have taken or haven't taken the steps that we think perhaps they should have taken so that those folks wouldn't be in this situation. Listen, after living up here for almost four years, I can tell you that housing crisis is only getting worse. I'm told right now, even to rent a couch on somebody's house, it's uh, five to $700 a month. If you can find it, the local housing officials up here tell us every day they receive calls from people looking for rentals and that list just keeps growing. We're live tonight in Keystone, Matt Croshall, covering Colorado First. Just tough. All right, Matt, thank you.